Hey guys, this is Chuck Dietz and I'm going to show you how to sweet pick. Well, I'll give you a few tips, but I'm actually not going to focus too much on the technicality of sweet picking. Um, I'm going to give you a lesson on um, how to use it more musically. So there's a couple of things you should know before we get started. One thing I want you to know is how to make a basic triad. That's the kind that we're going to be using as a root, third, and fifth. For example, uh, we could do C major, which would be C right here. The major third up from that would be E. And then the fifth would be G. And the same thing about a minor triad, except you're just flattening the third. And then make sure you also know your diminished triad just for one chord, which is both a flat minor third and flatted fifth. Also, you want to make sure you know the full harmonized scale. Whenever I say the harmonized scale, I mean like, a, for example, taking C major, we're going to have C major, D minor, E minor. triads that we're going to use are on the top three strings. So we have like C major, as well as the minor version. That's with your root note at the top. For your root note on the B string, you're going to use these shapes. Another example using C major and C minor. last inversion right here. Now if you know all those concepts, you're ready to start these sweep picking shapes. If you don't know these concepts and they've just been introduced to you, I recommend learning those shapes um, that I just showed you. And I'm going to supply a bunch of other sources down in this description so that you can get a better understanding of the harmonized scale as well as triads. Now I'm going to start by breaking down the first three string sweep shapes that I learned. This is the first one. We're going to start with the C major, with the C major shape or the D major shape, whatever you want to call it. It's taking the place of this chord. And it goes like this. using these triads to form sweep shapes, um, if you heard the way that I'm playing it, it's a, tri it's a triplet. So it's going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And in order to get that extra note, you add, um, you add an extra copy of the bass note down here. You have a G down here, and then you have the octave G right here. And then you get the full shape. And then I do the same thing for a minor shape. Since we're in C, we'll go to A. So we start with A, root note on the B of the string. Then we go to the minor third, which is just C. And our fifth down here, which is In order to get that triplet sound and to get that full sweep, we just put another another E into the chord up here. So yeah. And then the last shape, which occurs in the major scale and the natural minor scale only once, would be the diminished chord. And for that, that would be B diminished, which is right between A and C. So we'll start with our root note B. Have a minor third, and then a minor fifth as well. Or because remember these two notes are the same. Whenever I first learn a shape, I just try to play it up and down the neck to get familiar with the shape. So I'll start by doing this. And 
now remember I mentioned the harmonized scale. You can actually play that with these sweep shapes. I'll demonstrate using G major, which contains one sharp. <laughs> Now whenever you want to first get familiar with these shapes, that's a good thing to play. But after you are familiar with them, you might want to start using them in actual music. So then you might want to take like a standard progression like this. And then you want to take those sweep shapes and apply them over that progression using those chords that we just played. So now you're using the sweeps in more of a musical setting. You're not just blazing through, but you're following the chords. For these next set of shapes, we're going to do the triads, which aren't inverted at all. So we have our root note on the G string. We have C, major third, and our fifth. Which will then go up to a minor shape. Just go up to D minor. show you that sweep shape using the same progression that we just played a little while back. Then the last set of sweep shapes, we're going to put our root note on the top. So for C major, we're going to have... scale. You can always bend up to get that last note if you need to. Also just as an advanced note, you can play different sweep shapes to get different chords. Like if I'm playing E minor, that shape is right here. But if you play a G major chord over an E minor chord, you'll actually end up with an E minor 7th. Because that extra note at the top, which right here, would be a D. So, and then whenever you're playing over progression like actually play sweep shapes like this. A little bit rough, but gotta practice. So I hope you guys like this lesson. Next time I'm going to show you how to mix these sweep shapes together using uh, different inversions, staying in the same spot while still following a progression. Here's one weird thing I made up just for the lols.